the heart of a nation divided, where brother fought against brother and ideals clashed amidst the smoke of battle, the American Civil War raged like a tempest across the land. As the sun dipped low behind the horizon, casting long shadows over the camp, a weary mother emerged from the shadows, her children clinging to her skirts. In the midst of a sea of blue uniforms she stood, a beacon of resilience amidst the chaos of war. The soldiers of the 31st Pennsylvania Regiment, battle-worn and homesick, found solace in the laughter of the children and the quiet strength of the woman who had joined their ranks. In the dimly lit room, the weight of the nation bore down upon him like an unbearable burden. Yet in the midst of adversity, there was a glimmer of resolve in Abraham Lincoln's eyes. February 1865, a pivotal moment in history, captured in the furrows of his brow and the set of his jaw. The salt-laden breeze whipped through his hair as Admiral David Dixon Porter surveyed the vast expanse of the ocean before him. In the midst of the Civil War, he navigated treacherous waters with unwavering determination, his gaze fixed on the horizon. Circa 1863, a moment frozen in time, in the quiet moments between battles, amidst the rolling fields of the South, a Union soldier stood tall, his family gathered around him. Clad in the uniform of freedom, he bore witness to a new dawn, where the shackles of oppression began to crumble. CA, 1863-65, a testament to the resilience of a people. June 1862, a portrait frozen in time, capturing the grace and elegance of a queen. Alexandra of Denmark, her regal bearing softened by a gentle smile, gazed serenely into the distance. In the heart of Copenhagen, amidst whispers of intrigue and diplomacy, she embodied the epitome of royal majesty. His eyes, haunted by the horrors of war, spoke volumes of the sacrifices he had made in service to his country. Clad in the uniform of the Union Army, his identity remained shrouded in mystery, lost amidst the annals of history. C. 1864, a solitary figure amidst the chaos of battle, a silent guardian of freedom's flame. As the sun dipped low on the horizon, casting long shadows across the English countryside, Charles Darwin emerged from the confines of Downhouse, a man on a mission. Mounted atop his faithful steed, Tommy, he embarked on a journey of discovery, his mind alive with the mysteries of the natural world. 1867, a moment of respite amidst the rigors of scientific inquiry, captured in the steady rhythm of hoofbeats against the earth. Circa 1860-65, a portrait, frozen in time, capturing the unwavering resolve of a man born to lead. Breva Major General Adelbert Ames, his gaze steady and unwavering, stood tall amidst the chaos of war. With courage in his heart and honor on his brow, he led his men into battle, a beacon of hope in a time of darkness. In the aftermath of battle amidst the wreckage of war, General Ulysses S. Grant stood resolute. His weathered face bore the scars of conflict, yet his eyes burned with an unyielding determination. C. 1865, a moment frozen in time, capturing the indomitable spirit of a man who would stop at nothing to preserve the Union. Clad in the regalia of a Union officer, his golden locks glinting in the sunlight, George Armstrong Custer cut a dashing figure amidst the chaos of war. 1865, a moment frozen in time, capturing the youthful bravado of a man destined for greatness, his fate entwined with the annals of history. May 1862, a moment of respite amidst the chaos of war, captured in the lens of a chimera. Before the photographic tent at Camp Winfield Scott, soldiers gathered, their faces etched with weariness and resolve. In the heart of Virginia, amidst the rolling hills and verdant fields, they found solace in the camaraderie of battle. a moment frozen in time, capturing the revolutionary fervor of an era. Karl Marx, his gaze intense and unwavering, stood amidst the tumult of history, his words a clarion call to the downtrodden and oppressed. In the aftermath of battle, amidst the smoke and carnage of war, Manassas lay silent. Photographed by Timothy H. O'Sullivan in 1862, the once tranquil landscape was now scarred by the ravages of conflict. Yet amidst the chaos, there lingered a sense of resilience, a testament to the enduring spirit of a nation torn asunder.